Hi, I'm uh, Richard from Love Brewing, or Wineworks as we were formerly called. I'd just like to talk to you today about fruit and wine presses and crushers. So what I'd like to do to start with is we'll talk about the various types of presses that we can get. These are obviously ideal for doing uh, any type of fruit. The hard fruits like apples and pears, anything like that, we need to pulp them first before we put them into the press, but we'll come on to that later. Um, soft fruits obviously can go straight in there. Stones obviously need to come out of the um, fruit before they're actually added to the press. But what I'd like to do just to start with is just talk through all the various presses that we have available uh, here in the UK. We only buy our wine presses from Italy. Italy seems to have been the centre many years ago for producing top quality wine presses. There are a lot of cheap imports coming in from uh, China and Taiwan and places like that. In our opinion, the quality is not yet up to scratch. They're improving them, but they are not as good as the Italian ones that we get. We've dealt with this particular company for many years and they proved to be very reliable. And one of the reasons why we like them is because we get very little problems. Our belief is that a wine press should be for life and this press, as long as it's well looked after, will last you forever. Um, we give a two year guarantee on all the wooden presses that you can see and the stainless steel presses on the smaller size, um, we just give a, a 12 month guarantee and then there's certain ones that we give a five year guarantee on. So look closely on the website if you are after a long guarantee because the certain presses will give you that. Right, so what we'll do is we'll start and we'll have a look at the slightly smaller ones to start with. This is a 1.3 litre uh, wine press and as you can see it's got a cross beam section here with a spindle running through. There's an internal basket which is all in stainless steel. My personal opinion is this is not suitable for doing apples or pears in any volume. It's more designed for kitchen use. So for example, if you're a chef or something like that and you want to produce a bit of uh, quality juice, then you can use this type of press. As I say, not really suitable for fruit on a big scale. We then move up to the Ferrari press. This is a 5.5 litre. Now one thing to remember, when we talk about the capacity of the presses, we roughly will get, if that press is filled full of fruit, we'll get approximately 25 to 30 percent of the capacity out in juice. So for example on our 5.5 litre press we're going to get somewhere between one and two litres of juice out of it. So always bear that in mind when you're deciding on the size of press that you are looking for. Now this one comes again with an internal stainless steel basket. It's got a spindle press that just goes straight up the centre. And inside the stainless steel basket, you can probably see, there are some little perforated holes. So the advantage with this press is it's not necessary to have a straining bag. The actual internal basket will double up as your straining bag. So we'll put the pulp fruit into there and press down. What we're actually going to do as well is we're actually going to do a demo on some pressing of some apples. So we'll be able to talk a bit more through that later on. This particular press also comes in a 1.3 and a 2.2 litre size. So you've a choice of three sizes, 1.3, 2.2 and 5.5. Made by the Ferrari Group in Italy uh, and comes with a 12 month guarantee. If we go up from that, we're now also looking at the traditional wine press. As you can see, it's got the wooden slats and it's the sort of thing that you could probably have in your kitchen. You could have it on display, it looks great. But I have to say, when you actually look at the internal part of it here, you'll see there isn't a great deal of space when you've got the spindle in position. You haven't got a great deal of space for putting your fruit in. 
So if you're looking at a 5 litre type press, and this one is, is a, a, a 6 litre, if you're looking at this sort of size of press, then I firmly believe the stainless steel one that I showed you at the start is the better option. It's much easier to use and you haven't got any of the complications of having all this internal part here. If you're wanting it purely for looks, then this does look absolutely fantastic. And as I say, it will do the job. There's not a problem there. So we go from here, we start with the five, uh, the, the six litre, five litre press here. Then we go, our next size is the 11 litre. And as you can see on the 11 litre, you've got quite a bit more capacity. You've got more space inside to actually get your fruit in. All the presses come with, uh, with the spindle press. They all come with a ratchet mechanism at the top. And the idea of the ratchet mechanism is that we take it down to friction and then we have two pins that slot in the top. The two pins that go in the top then work on the ratchet so that we can just tighten it a little bit at a time and that moves on the ratchet mechanism. That will give us our final pressing. As you can see with the spindle presses, there's a slight problem in the sense that the spindle is nearly always in the way. Underneath the spindle, we have to pack out the fruit with wooden blocks. And the wooden blocks that we use just literally go on top of the apples. We've got to make sure that this is above the basket so that when we tighten down and squeeze the juice, then we've got sufficient area to clear the top of the here using the uh, ratchet mechanism and the tightening handle. The big advantage to the spindle press is that they are quite reasonably priced, but also because you're at right angles, you can get some very good leverage on it. I personally tend to find that the spindle presses, especially the small sizes, aren't as convenient as when they start getting to be a bigger size. So from the 11 litre, we will then go up to a 20 litre. From the 20 litre, we go up to a 30 litre. Um, there's a 30 litre in the back. From the 30 litre, we go up to a 45 litre. That's as far as we go in terms of stocks in the UK. If you do require something bigger, we can always get them to special order. But in terms of actual stock, the 45 litre is the biggest one we do. So again, each of these spindle presses has a basket arrangement. The basket arrangement is completely separate. It has four pins, two at the front and two at the back. And this allows the basket to come into a half section. So you've got a half moon there. The half moon, obviously when it comes to cleaning, it makes it a lot easier. You can literally just jet hose it and keep them clean. The pins just go back into position and then you're ready to add your fruit. So the spindle press, as I say, the advantage to the spindle press is that you're at right angles so that you can actually apply quite a bit of pressure to it. They're very competitively priced, but the disadvantage is that you've got all the spindle and the bits and pieces that make it hard for loading. And you'll see that when I show you a crossbeam one and the advantages of the crossbeam. So the spindle press I think we've covered. And what we'll do now is look at the crossbeam. This is a crossbeam press, and this is available in three sizes. We have a 5 litre, we have a 11 litre, and then we have the 20 litre at the back. This one here I'm actually showing you is an 11 litre. So the difference between the spindle and the crossbeam is the center spindle comes down from above so it makes it very simple to load our fruit into the basket and all we do is the two clips on the side which allow the top to swing away so the top swings away and if we want to we can actually sit our crusher on top so we can crush the fruit that will drop down in, into um, the basket we then swing the top away once we've taken the crusher off swing the top away and press down. With this particular uh, press, your basket again is exactly the same as the spindle. 
we have the pins in it, which allows it to separate and break into half. That again makes it a lot easier when it comes to cleaning. The other feature of the crossbeam press is the tray is all in stainless aluminium, so you're not going to get any corrosion. One of the problems that we get with apples is they are incredibly acidic. So the acidity of the apples will actually eat into the paint. So with this particular one, we've got the nice base, and if you can see, we've got the pressing plate, which is made of the same substance. So anything that's coming into contact with the apples is protected from oxidization and eating into the paint. The only thing that at some stage in the future you might need to do is the band that goes round the basket will occasionally, it will be worth taking the little pins out, sanding it down and repainting it. Uh, that's probably something that we would do probably every five years. So in terms of maintenance, this one is very much maintenance free. Comes complete with the two year guarantee, as did, does the spindle press. But it's a lovely, lovely piece of kit. And again, think in terms of your capacity, 30% of the size of the press if it's full of apples will come out in juice so you're looking at somewhere in the region of three litres of apple juice coming out of this 11 litre press so each time we do a pressing we're going to get three litres so if you're thinking in terms of making 25 litres of cider then you need 25 litres of apple juice that apple juice if you're only getting three litres out you're going to be looking at eight presses on this particular press once you start going into the smaller ones, think in terms of 15 or 20 presses. So again, it can become a bit of a pain if you don't get a press of the right size. I have always said to people, and the one thing that we, we have as a comment, always go for the biggest press that you can afford. If you don't, you'll regret it. You can always make a press smaller, but you can't make a press bigger. By smaller, there's no reason why this has to be full of fruit. It can literally be just up to here with fruit. Similarly with the spindle press, we just put the blocks in and that allows us to do it. If you want to make it bigger, there's absolutely no option. The majority of people ring me who I've spoken to on the phone and are persuaded to buy a bigger press. They are so grateful we've done it. So always think in terms of trying to get a press that's bigger than you think you're going to need because you won't regret it. Um, we've also got two other presses that I'll just show you quickly. And this is an 11 litre all stainless steel press. Again, very similar in the sense that it's got a cross beam mechanism here. And that obviously swings away. So when this is up into position, the basket will come away and the top swings away. And it means we can load the fruit. Now this one is all stainless steel. So the whole thing, the mesh basket, the lot, are all stainless steel. And we offer that one as an option with the painted base and the cross beam all painted red. So we've got the two presses there, difference in cost very much being the fact that one is all stainless steel and the other is a painted one. But again, you've still got the stainless steel mesh basket and the pressing plate is also stainless so that is a nice option if you're not wanting to spend too much money they're both lovely presses and they work again through pressing down from the top some people want to add straining bags the straining bag can go inside the basket with the fruit inside it folded over and then we press down onto the straining bag and the juice will come out but as I say we'll demonstrate that in a short while